welcome back to the NIA interactive tutorial on how to develop a website using the CMS Made Simple content management system. So last time we were here we set up the website and we took a look at the back end or the admin area. Now we're going to install a theme and some templates inside of the theme. So first thing you have to do of course is choose a theme and you can do that. There's any number of uh, services out there that sell themes, the biggest one being ThemeForce, we use that a lot. There's also uh, a few others. Uh, this one we got here, Favason, it was a free one. It's very good looking, but it's open source. Uh, this is the home page here. Uh, so it has a lot of potential here. We don't, we're not going to use all of it, but we'll use some of it. Uh, and then we then have to figure out, so this is what the home page would look like, roughly. Uh, but then we have to figure out what happens on the inside pages. We can't really use the price page. Uh, although we could use that somewhere, use this price set. So there's some elements we may use. But then how do we use this with like regular everyday pages? Uh, so we could use some elements eventually on some of the contact on the contact page, like these forms, which look really nice. Uh, but we're not going to use that for all the pages. So the other real page we're going to use is the blog details page. So here we have a nice big area that we can use for our uh, content. Uh, we can remove all of this here, although we can keep it on if we wanted to. Also has a form, and then it has a side navigation bar. And of course, we could set it up whichever way with or without the side navigation bar. So these are two pages we're going to use: the home page and this single blog. So we go and we download these sites, these themes, and here's the one that we download. And uh, comes with all this information, and then here are the individual pages. And then inside the individual, in addition to the individual pages, we have these folders with information such as JavaScript and images and CSS and things like that. So we need to upload this to the site. So we're going to take this and we're going to compress this just to make it a little bit easier to use later. And we're going to go to the folder called Uploads. We're going to use this in this case instead of FileZilla or something. And then we're going to, these already has inside of the folder called Uploads, we already have a folder called Images. And then these three folders are the three themes that are already installed in Clean Blue and Gray Simplex. So we're just going to put the theme in here. We could, of course, just put the theme in the main directory in another folder that we call Themes. But we already got these here. This is what we use. Uh, so we're just going to continue this path. So now we're going to create the directory. Oops, not upload, but create. Right, and so now this is the directory where the theme will live. But there's nothing in here right now, so we're going to upload here. Grab themes, and instead of uploading the whole thing, we're just going to upload the zip file that we created that has all of these subfolders inside of it. And that way, the relative path between those individual files and the resources, the assets of the website are there. So once it's here, then we extract the zip. And now we've got all of the folders here. So here's the CSS folder, here's the JS. And now we know where they are. They're in a folder called uploads slash favison slash whatever it is, CSS, image, JavaScript, etc. So this is where all of the resources of this theme live. So next thing we need to do then is to go back here and we need to open up the HTML files that we want to use. And we again identify that we want to use index, which is the home page, and the single blog page. So we have both of those open here. Let's start out with the index. So here's the index file. There's all the HTML behind it. And of course, this is the way these um, fancy uh, and really good themes come. So you don't have to do all the work of creating it yourself. The problem is, of course, everything here is pointing to folders that are relative to just the um, uh, this these individual files and we now know that that inside of CMS made simple all these subfolders exist inside of upload slash baby so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a find everywhere where we see source And that'll cover all the images, as you can see here. So all the images, everywhere we see source equals quotation mark, we're going to replace that with source equals quotation mark uploads slash. 
So we're going to replace all. And that covers all of the uh, images. Then we're also going to do the same with href. Now this is going to mess up some things. It's going to mess up, of course, the links, but that's not important because we're not going to use those links. Oops, sorry, we'll just do href here, and then we're going to change this one to hyperreference upload famous on. So we're going to do all 44 of these and replace them all. So what that does then is it takes the icon and it takes it from going to, to a place called image favicon to uploads favicon image. Now this is going to mess up a couple of, uh, uh, could potentially mess up a couple of items uh, if they are um, going to somewhere else, like they're going to, to get some CSS files from Google or something like that. Uh, but for now, we'll figure those out when they happen. But even down here, all of these have automatically been uh, been uploaded. All right, it's going to create some problem here, but that's fine. So we select everything here, and we copy it, and then we go over to the admin area. So here we're going to go to the design to layout design manager, and in the design manager, we're going to create the theme. Favorite sign that goes inside a design. So we create a new design. We're calling this Favorite sign and we submit. And then we're going to make this the default theme. So that means every time we create a new page or every time we create a new style sheet, a template rather, a style sheet, then they are, are going to be attached to Favison. For now we're going to create a new template and inside the templates then you can choose what kind of template you are selecting from. You can have a menu manager, a navigator, a news or a blog template, a search template, uh, but the template we're going to use now is for a page. So we're going to choose select core page. That's the template type we're doing. And it gives us a setup or a dummy one here, which is a very simple one, uh, but it gives us a good model of what it would look like. But for now, we'll just go ahead and paste over everything that we have here. All right, so the entire thing is, is pasted here. The design is correct, it's Favison, so we're set. So we need to give this do two things here. First, we need to give it a name. So we're going to call this Favison Home. And we know then this is the home page template as opposed to the main template. The other thing is we need to find where we're going to put the content that exists on a page that we're going to lay in. So if we're doing the home page here, where would the content go that's on here? So for now, we're just going to put it right here. So we know form female from cattle evening and we're going to search for the words the earth this is where we're going to put any main content here the uh, their earth so we're going to go here find earth here we go and we're replacing this with the code that is required to to insert the content here and that is using smarty tags content so once we put this content here then this is where the content from the individual pages will go so we submit it, and there it is. So we created a design, and we created a template to associate with the design, and that template is called Favison Home. So good, but that doesn't really do anything for the outside now. This page still looks exactly the same, so how do we then get the, this page to look like the, or to utilize the template that we have? Now we go to Content, Content Manager and we find the page that we want to change here. So let's go to the home page here. Right now the template is simplex. So here's the content of the home page here. But let's go here to our options. The design for this for this particular page is simplex. We're going to change the design to Favison and then we're going to change the template to home. And again we could change it to more than one template and we're going to apply. And now let's go back to home and refresh it and bam, the entire site is up and running using this template. And here's all the text that we just saw on the home page is now here. And we can shorten it up and customize it any way we want. So great, so that's this page. What about some of the other pages, some of the inside pages that we had seen before? We're gonna, inst instead of um, using the home page for those, we're gonna use the uh, page called single blog and we're going to do the same thing we did before here where we're going to find and replace everywhere where it says source so that'll be all the images that are used we're going to replace that with this 
and everywhere where we have an href and really we want to do this for the style sheets um, and, uh, and icons we're going to replace all of these here and then we copy that and we're going back to the layout to the design manager and we're going to create another new template using the page template as opposed to one of the other templates and again we're going to overwrite all of this we're using the right design this is Favison and we're going to name this one Favison main so this is our main template that we're going to use on the interior pages so now the question comes up again what section of the site are we going to use exactly in order to put in the content and it looks like that's going to be this section here so it says MCSE uh, boot that's what we're looking for well, we can replace that with the content and that's the only real requirement you have here is that you have to have a uh, a smarty tag with the word content in it because that's what's going to sneak it into your template because that's what's going to sneak in the content from the page all right so that's main and let's go back to content manager let's find one of these pages here so let's just take the page called how CMS MS works this already has a page it's already doing something but we're going to change this theme here from left simple over to Favison and instead of Favison home we're going to change this to main and this page is is this one here alright so now we're back at this home page but now what we want to do then is to get to that page that we just saw um, uh, that we just uh, that we just saw we just didn't create it so here it is now this is the same page uh, that we just uh, edited of course this looks just like the template but here we know this is working because here is the information plugged into this area about CMS made simple and this is the exact information that was inside of the content manager here so we're able to we still have a lot of customization to do but we were able to install a template in just minutes so we have a separate template for the home page and a separate template for all of the individual pages inside and of course we can continue to make a customized templates but this is the uh, beginning of it all where we have a template now for each page so next session we're gonna show how we customize this template and make it do exactly what we want it to do